So the first job is to set up the line of the tank and the seat unit, get that line right. Um, I'll explain about the lines now. These lines are the foundation. You want a flat line running front to back, maybe slightly tilted to the front to make it a little bit more aggressive. Ideally, this line remains unbroken. This is the first line you see when you look at the bike. These are your cutoff points, basically the center of the wheels. Anything after this makes the bike seem rear heavy, but a small amount is okay. This is the height limit. Anything above this will take away from the sleek line that you're trying to get with a cafe racer. And also it'll start to uh, look like a flat tracker. As you can see, I've put on some clip-ons, which uh, give it a better overall effect and it will become obvious of why I've done that. So then the next job for me is to put the tank on and then start getting the seat unit in place um, and the new seat hoop. So this is the fuel tank I've got. It's off a of CB550, uh, 1971, 1974. Um, bought it off eBay. Uh, I like the way that the filler cap is offset. It's the original filler cap, which uh, still works, just needs to clean up. The tank's been treated, stripped and treated, which shows there's no filler in it, no dents, although there is one dent at the front there, but it's not too bad, get that sorted. Um, I like the shape of the tank. Um, and the mounts between the tunnel actually fit over the uh, frame. I'm just probably gonna have to move the rubbers in a different position. But yeah, overall, I think that's gonna completely change the look of the bike, really like that. As you can see, hopefully, the tank does actually fit, oh, in the tunnel fits over, but the original tank mounts are catching. They're stopping the tank going into place. So to get that sorted and get them dropped down into place, because it's a bit high, um, I'm gonna have to cut off the original mounting points. But that gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like. The back is probably somewhere near where it should be. The front needs to come down a bit, I think and then we can start working on the seat unit. So that is my tank on in position and the subframe in position. And you can see that I've got the line that I was after. I would have liked the tank maybe a little bit further forward, but it's obviously catching on the top uh, triple clamp. Um, but that's pretty good. And when it's flat on the floor, the tank's pretty level, so I'm not gonna get a load of petrol at the front. So this is my baseline, nice and straight. The seat unit is just over the rear wheel center. This is my top height. This is your visual weight or the main bulk of the bike. If the petrol tank is longer than this, it will start to look too heavy. Shorter and it can start to look like a bobber. Ideally, the top of the tank should be the center of the engine, sort of over the crank. Inclined engines tend to look better with a tank that's bigger at the front and tapers off towards the rider. Obviously, all of these rules are just guides and all rules are meant to be broken, so just do whatever you want. I bought the subframe hub off eBay. It was just cheaper to get that um, ready-made by somebody than to get my own tube and bender and stuff like that. It just saved me a lot of hassle. A little bit of alteration needed at the front, because I also bought this, this seat from China off eBay. It took ages to come, but it cost next to nothing. And what I like is, for all it's an upholstered type seat, it's got um, a cavity under the seat back. A nice, good plastic base, some mounting points. The vinyl is absolute crap, but that's all going. I only bought it for the base, um, so I've got a space under there. Um, and it was cheaper and easier than just making up a fiberglass one myself. So that does actually fit on there. As I say, the front needs just all in slightly, but that actually fits over there quite nicely. And that is what you're looking at. I did that by, as you can see, just taping blocks of wood to get my level. Now I know where I am. I can mark up on the frame and I can weld stuff in and then cut out the subframe. There'll be a, a bar that goes down to there the tank is also on a block. Mark where 
the rubber it's just nice and solid um, as you can see already marked and the rubber pants will be going in there and um, then that will go and strangely enough that line to there where the back of the tank sits is level is a straight line so I might come up with some sort of mount from there I might make a mount from there I'm not sure where and then maybe some sort of webbing to make it look nice and then I'm going to bring the front of the seat uh, hoop onto the frame like that curve it in onto there and then all of that will go that will be in the next episode now because that is my next step the petcock isn't in a great position but I might be able to alter that or it might work depending on the type of carbs I use so if you want to see more of this build um, and see how it goes uh, like and subscribe um, and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and if you've got any questions or want to point out that I'm doing something wrong or uh, any suggestions I'll be quite happy to uh, answer and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.